Hey, I'm Pit Master X and I got a magic bean. There's a whole recipe coming in this video involving this magic bean. And if you need that recipe and you want to print it out, you go to the website, pitmasterx.com. We got thousands of amazing barbecue recipes up there. So go check it out after this video. Look at my magic beans. Aren't they amazing? You must be wondering, oh, magic bean, magic bean. Dude, what are you talking about? This magic bean is quite difficult to get in the Netherlands. Well, actually it's not. You can go to Google and just Google cacao beans. And then all of these health stores have this bean and I got them shipped in a little basket like that. And then you peel them and inside of that bean, look, there's this beautiful dark brown magic stuff, cacao. And this is already roasted. This bean holds the most amount of bitter that you can have in a bean. And bitterness is awesome. We love bitterness. And you might think at this point, bitterness, dude, I don't like bitter. Yes, you do. Do you drink coffee? That's why you love bitterness. And we're gonna put this, well, I am, I'm gonna put this on steak. And I'm gonna put it in a steak on a way you're probably gonna freak out about how good it really is. The first thing I'm gonna do is peel the beans and it needs to be at least enough for my steak rock. Could have used cacao powder instead of doing all this manual labor. Yes, I could have, but then I couldn't have decide how coarse I want my barbecue rub. And I wish you could smell this. This is dark earthy tones. To make my cacao steak rub, I'm going to add half a part of fleur de sel salt, a quarter part ground peña pepper, and a quarter part of cinnamon powder. Now I'm gonna mix that up and give it a quick try. Wow, that's completely different to what I've ever made before. Oh, and there's that white peña pepper. Fantastic. And of course we gotta have a steak to, to well, to, to put the rub on, you know? Like, I'm making a whole show out of this rub, but you know who is the real star? We all know it. <laughs> Look at it. I found this steak and I just had to have it. It's like one of those things that you, like, some guys have this with watches. I don't like watches, I like steak. And this is the one I needed to have. It has great amount of intermuscular fat, so there's flavor in there and it's tender. And at the same time, there's not too much fat there. And that's exactly what I need because I wanna put this rub on. I wanna make it stick and I wanna taste the rub because we're doing kind of an experiment with this new rub. First, I'm gonna put on some olive oil just to help that rub stick. Flip it around. And the coarser your rub is, the more reason you have to use something to help it stick. We got that cacao and that's thick. And of course, then you're gonna need that adhesive. That looks amazing. <laughs> the chocolate looks really, really good on this steak. So, without further ado, let's fire up our master build smoker. The master builds running at a temperature of 140 degrees Celsius. It's time to put our steak on. Oh, what a beauty. Let's put the thermometer in so we are always sure what the core temperature is. And I'm looking for that 52 degrees Celsius because afterwards we're gonna sear it off. I just got the notification from my meter we're at 52 degrees Celsius, which means we're going to take it off and it's time to start searing. I wanna let this set aside. And now it's time to configure our master build from a smoker into a grill. I'm going to take the grill grates off. I'm going to take the smoker box out, put the grill box in, grill grates back in, set the temperature to the highest setting. And now we can watch the flame shoot out of this device.
this is the moment where I get excited. I had this idea, I created the results, and now I get to experience it. Is it gonna be good? And should we make more rubs out of these like, where are they? These beautiful beans, I wanna know. All of these beautiful ingredients, it could be yours. You could put this in a rub, but first we gotta find out if it tastes good. Should be good, right? It's chocolate, it's steak. Put together, I don't know, gonna find out. Ooh, nice and juicy. This is the one. Here we go. It's one of the most surprising barbecue rubs I've ever had. Not that I've ever made, but ever had, like in the universe. The uh, Pitmaster X made some recipes with, with uh, coffee. This is how I would have thought the coffee would taste, but it doesn't. This is what I have in my mind. This is like the dream you want to achieve with coffee. And the cool thing about this rub is that it really stands out from the steak. It makes it pop and that's, that's something unique. Most of the time I put a lot of garlic and onion in and this time I decided not to and I'm so happy I didn't because this is elevating. Like I'm thinking, I'm thinking a whole lot of things. We, we can make like a next le level rub out of this. I'm thinking adding dried mushrooms to it, a little bit of coffee and all kinds of crazy. Maybe a hint of cumin in there. Uh, tomahawk is perfect for experiments like this, like bold flavors. You need bold flavors for a tomahawk. What's this? Mm. I'm super blown away about how much flavor this steak has. Mm -hmm. It's not just like a, like normally you would just like, if you put a rub on the outside and you eat the crust, you taste the rub, it's nothing, like no. it's nice, but it's not spectacular. No. This is spectacular. This is like, it, it takes over the steak. In a good way. In a good way. Also, I think like for the most people that have multiple steaks in their life and people that watch this and they barbecue at home a lot, they want more than putting some paprika powder on it and onion powder on it right now. Yeah. This is a new way to do it. So, end verdict. Put cacao on your steak. Definitely. Big thumbs up. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. Big thank you to our patrons and YouTube members. Hope to see you guys next time. Until then, it's smart. And keep on grilling. Did you hear how fast I was on, on that note? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, it was like a, a machine one. gun. It was I was one. like a Tech 9. Like a Tech 9. <laughs> I do own a BB gun, but it doesn't yeah. count. It doesn't go like da 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 da. It goes. Guns are really rare in the Netherlands. <laughs>